Okay, YouTube, quick video. Uh, I just wanted to let you know about the new grid tie power limiters. What we got right here is the wiring diagram for it. Let me get my set together here. Okay, we got this uh, blue wire right here. This blue wire right here is going to be this wire here with the connector to go around your main power line like you see right there. And then you have this black wire right here. That black wire is your power lead coming from your inverter here going into the power limiter here. Then you have your signal wire right here. And this wire would be your signal wire here. Your signal wire plugs in to the grid tie right here. And it comes around and it plugs in to your limiter box right here on A or B, whichever one you want to use. This box is designed to run two grid ties. Now what this do is, you have your same DC input right here. You come off your solar panels or your battery bank, whatever you want to do. You go into here. Then you're going to come out on this end right there. See you got your little LED display. You're going to come out right here with your power cord. You're going to come around and it will plug into here or here, whichever one. This is capable of running two 2,000 two watt grid ties. So you can plug a 2,000 watt grid tie here and a 2,000 watt grid tie here. And that'll be 4,000 watt max. Now what this system do that's better than just running just a regular grid tie is you can take your solar, hook it up to here, or your battery bank and hook it up to here, and you can run this system without sucking all the power out of your battery bank or pushing unnecessary power through the light meter to the light company. So what this system's going to do is Say like you're in your house, if you are using only 200 watts at that point in time. Well, this system here, this grid tie is only, only going to put out enough watts to feed the house, which will be 200 watts. This right here limit the grid tie from putting out unnecessary watts because a regular grid tie will put out the full 1,000 watts if it's capable of doing that. So this limited down to stop you from putting your power into the grid unnecessarily. So this will stop you from having to, say like if uh, your local municipality um, charges you for sending power into the grid exactly like if you taking it out of the grid. Well, this stops you from getting that charge because this won't send your power out through the grid. So stay posted, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to read these instructions and figure this thing out. And we're going to start doing the installation. And I'll take y'all along for the ride so you can see this thing get put in and installed and how it works after I get it in. I'm going to put a link in the description to where you can go and see this thing in action so check the description box click on the link and go to the video and you will see some amazing things happening with this little unit here thank you youtube for watching subscribe to the channel and be blessed